In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the e.l.f. HD Mattifying Balm. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you again. So today we're going to be reviewing this drugstore mattifying primer and it's supposed to just keep your skin looking nice and matte and give it that nice HD you know smooth finish so if you're brand spanking new to my channel and you like beauty reviews go ahead and subscribe because I do upload three times a week so you're bound to find something that you like on my channel and if you want to be notified every time I upload go ahead and click that notification bell so I was strolling through Target and you know I'm always like called to the beauty section in Target and I saw this elf mattifying balm and I was like oh damn like I've never actually used this before and it's pretty affordable it retails for about six dollars at the drugstore store and I'm going to read to you guys what the e.l.f. website says about it. So it's infused with vitamin E, jojoba, almond, and grape oil and this formula is nourishing and weightless. So they do provide a sponge for you to use with this. I'm just going to tell you guys I was looking at some online reviews and some people suggested using the sponge that they provide um, wet so like a beauty blender, you know, you would dampen it and then use that to apply that on your actual skin since I'm oily combination I do get oily on my forehead and my nose and then right around the nose and occasionally on the chin as well Now I want to show you guys. This is the sponge that I got with this I'm not sure if you guys can actually see this but since I've used this product a few times because I need to test it out, you know before this actual sponge does not stay clean. It comes white, but um, there's actually some like yellow stains after I've used it, which is so weird because I don't have any straight up yellow products. I tried to clean it uh, with some soap and it doesn't clean very well. But they do say that it's absolutely crucial for application, so I don't like that I have to keep this, but I feel like this is very important for the actual application of the product. I also just want to go ahead and say straight up, I'm sorry if you guys can hear like my neighbor's kids screaming. Sometimes when I film in the afternoon, I just can't avoid, you know, noises. So I'm sorry. Maybe I can try and cover it up with some music in the background. But uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a heads up. <laughs> okay, so this is what the mattifying balm looks like when you open it up here. It's just like a white little balm. And it's kind of, it looks like it would be greasy. But when you spread it out, you can barely feel it on your fingers. So it is a definitely a weightless kind of balm. Also, a little side note, this product also does contain silica, which actually will pull moisture away from the skin. So if you have any areas of your face that are really dry, you should not apply this on that. So really focus this on the areas of your skin that are absolutely oily, like for real, for real. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take this sponge, it's already been dampened, and I'm just going to rub this on there gently. And you guys, this does come with a nice little mirror, as you can see here. And uh, I'm just going to apply this, so I smooth it around, and really get those oily areas. And then I just go ahead and push it into the skin. As you guys can see, this is very like translucent. Doesn't leave any kind of white cast. I haven't had any problems with any kind of white cast at all. Also, I've kind of been having some problems with my smile line areas, and I found that this balm works so well when you pat it into your smile lines. So this primer balm thing <laughs> actually really works as a nice filler for your uh, smile lines. It just kind of fills that. And you know what I also like to do? I like to set it with powder to prevent it from moving around. Okay, so now we're ready for the foundation part. Before I forget, you guys, uh, I did prime the rest of my face with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Because it's like a moisturizer as well, this is just something I do like right after I wash my face and add all my morning serums. So this is the foundation side, which I've been loving. This foundation looks like so airbrushed, you guys. It's, I mean, you guys have heard me talk about this <laughs> enough. I'm sure you're sick of it. 
And what I love also is that it's a really great color match for me right now. See how nice this looks, guys? How it just like sits on the face. So here's what the foundation looks like before I've done anything, before concealer, before I've set it. It just looks really, really nice. Now, of course, it looks a little bit more dewy now because I haven't set it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm going to come back, talk to you guys about just initially how everything looks. And then, of course, you guys know I got to check in and show you guys, you know, what this stuff does. So I'll be back. Okay, so this is what my final makeup looks like. It's definitely like matte. I mean, I got a lot of highlight going on today, guys. I got a little bit carried away. But other than that, my face is matte. So, um, first of all, I love the balm. Like the actual product itself is amazing and it's really lightweight. Now, I will say I do not like this applicator. It's gross to me. I hate when companies include this and I think next time I'm just gonna start using my actual uh, beauty blender or makeup sponge and see how that applies I just really wanted to follow the actual directions this time because I wanted to make sure that you know I got the actual performance of the product because they do say to use the sponge in the directions so yeah um, I will be back and I will check in with you guys in a little bit and um, We'll see how it held up, you know, with the oils and such. Hey guys, so I'm here. It's been about four hours since I put on my makeup and I am not oily. Looks pretty good, don't you think? Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to like lean in and catch that light, you feel me? <laughs> so far, so good with the balm. I'm really loving it. I've tried it a few times. I just wanted to make sure, you know, hey, it's working good right now um yeah it gives you like i said in that t-zone like that smooth finish looks really nice so far so good um i'll be back in a little bit and we'll see how things look hi guys so i'm on my vlog camera and i wanted to do my final check-in for the elf uh mattifying balm it's the hd mattifying balm excuse me but i wanted to come in and show you guys usually by this time i've been wearing this for let's see what time is it it's almost one o'clock in the morning i applied this at three right before like three in the afternoon so i've been wearing it for like 10 hours by now I would usually be like a greasy mess you guys like I would be like like you could basically like fry an egg on my face by now but you know what look at this like I haven't added powders I haven't uh, done anything else to my face this is just putting in the HD mattifying balm on my face as a good base on my t-zone around my nose everything like doesn't it look so nice you guys like oh. I'm so surprised um for only six dollars like six dollars like that's that's amazing <laughs> i think lately i've just struggled so much with um being oily i used to have just normal skin i never had any oily issues in the past few years my skin has progressively gotten oilier and oilier and oilier maybe i need to drink more water i don't know but um all of my old primers that used to work, I mean, they work for maybe like four or five hours and then I'm like oily, you know? So they're not they're not bad primers, they're amazing, but they just don't work long term. So I'm loving that I can just like combine this and it works with so many different primers. Like I have uh, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which I told you guys is like an amazing, just all over moisturizer for oily skin. But then I put this in my extra oily areas and it's really good. Um, I've also tried before previous techniques where you just, um, apply powder before your foundation that like doesn't work for me <laughs> i'm still oily and i've also tried that with this primer as well but it seems to work best when you don't use the powder on top of it you just apply your foundation straight off if that makes sense i hope it does <laughs> um all around like two thumbs up for me it just performs really well i think this is something that's like budget friendly for everybody like I think it could work for like bridal. I think it could work for just, you know, your regular everyday oily person. Um, nice events. It's 
gorgeous it's gorgeous like definitely my summer go-to as far as keeping my smile lines from not appearing i mean i don't know it's like a problem that i've had lately and it didn't exactly fix it it kept it looking nice for a little while but now it's back it's back again it's my little friend so i just keep a beauty blender around and you know normally i just like blend it if i if i notice that it's just you know really bad but um definitely no oiliness love it looking good um i hope you guys uh like the video and if you've tried this product let me know what are your thoughts and how do you use the elf mattifying balm to keep your skin looking bomb.com <laughs> um yeah so go ahead and check out some of the videos that i have over here for you guys if you're new to my channel um you know those are great places to start or even if you're an oldie but goodie subby and you haven't seen either of these check it out and if you're not subscribed girl girl don't wait anymore <laughs> all right well i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye